Hello and welcome to the Scanning Electron Microscope Lab at Eastfield College. Eastfield College is located in Mesquite, Texas and is part of the Dallas County Community College District. My name is Murray Gans and I'm the Scanning Electron Microscope Lab Coordinator at Eastfield. Eastfield operates two Scanning Electron Microscopes full time. Our bigger scope is this one right here, S3400N. Today we're here to talk about this scope, the TM1000. What's really exciting about the TM1000 is that it's portable and I can bring it to your school if your school happens to be near Eastfield. So let's take a look at how easy it is to operate the TM1000. So what is an electron microscope and what does it do? An electron microscope uses a beam of finely focused electrons to form a very, very large image of an object. It gives us great resolution, it gives us depth of field, and of course it gives us great magnification. This little scope right here can actually magnify up to 10,000 times. So how does it work? The electron gun is located right in here. It shoots a beam of electrons straight down through this column. Around the column are electromagnets, which focus the beam on the specimen, which is going to be located in this chamber. When the electrons hit the specimen, they're reflected off and picked up by detectors inside this chamber, and that forms our image on the computer. When we want to put something in the electron microscope, we place it on this, which is a specimen holder. On top, we have a little sticky pad, which kind of helps hold stuff in place. Over here, I have a spider. So what I'm going to do is take off one of his legs, and we're going, to, we're going to put that in the electron microscope. So I'm going to reach in here, slowly, jump off one of his little legs. And it's going to go right here on the sticky pad. Position it for the center, and we're ready to go. Placing the specimen in the scope is quite simple. Just lift it up, and there's a place for this to go right in the scope. And there we have it. Electron microscopes work in a vacuum. What we're going to have to do is actually close this drawer, put our specimen in the chamber, and pull all the air out of that chamber. But we still want to be able to see different parts of the specimen, and that's where these two knobs come into play. Let's open the drawer and see what the knobs actually do here. This knob, if you'll notice, if I turn it to the left, the specimen moves to the left. If I turn it to the right, it goes to the right. This one moves it toward me or away from me. And that's exactly what we'll see happen on the computer screen. So let's go ahead and start our vacuum. I'm going to close the drawer, we push this button right here, hold the drawer for just a second, you hear the vacuum pump start, and in two minutes we'll be ready to look at our specimen. Well, it's been two minutes and we now have our vacuum in the chamber, so let's look at the computer interface. Obviously you can see there's a start button, we're going to want to do that first. Let me also show you that we have a change of magnification here. We can click on the plus, the magnification goes up, click on the minus, the magnification goes down. Let's start the image. The computer's going to do some adjustment, find our first image. Takes just a second, and there we have a spider leg. You see our spider leg right there. You see some spines coming off. We use the knobs now to move that spider leg over the end of the spider leg into the center of the screen. A little bit more right there. That'll be perfect. All right, let's go ahead and start magnifying. 40x, 50, 60, 80, 100. So now we're up to 100. You start to see some fuzziness here. Go up a little higher, and what you'll see is at the end of the spider leg is a lovely little claw. All right, so let's move this image down to the center of the screen. And now what we're going to do is we're going to slow down the scan rate, which will give us a better image. Now look at this. Isn't this beautiful? You can see the, the, the spines, the hairs on the spider leg. And look at these claws. These are called parcel claws. And that little comb right there, that comb's actually used for the spider to comb out the silk as it comes out of its spinneret, which is pretty cool. Now, we come over here to save the image. So up here in the corner of the screen, you have a save icon. You click on that and go through a normal computer save. You'll notice that what the scope's doing right now is it's taking a high resolution scan of the image we just saw, which is pretty cool. And now it's finished scanning. We just save it normally and we're ready to go. What's really cool about this though, take any memory stick, plug it in the USB port, and you have the image. And let me show you one more thing, which is kind of cool. Under the edit menu here, I can make measurements. So I'm going to click on this icon right here, and I'm going to measure the length of that spider's claw. Just drag up and let go, and this tells me that that claw is 171 microns long. If you recall, a centimeter is 1 one hundredth of a meter. A millimeter is 1 one thousandth of a meter. We're talking about a micron, which is 1 one millionth of a meter. And this is 175 microns. Eastfield College is dedicated to supporting research in the STEM fields by providing students and faculty with research quality instruments. Not just students and faculty at Eastfield, but students at universities, colleges, public schools, and private schools are welcome to come in and use our scopes. 
you're not located near Eastfield, we'd love to collaborate online. We'd like to show your students what an electron microscope is and what it can do. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to hear from you soon.